Kutaro had obtained Calibrus, a legend repair of magic scissors. But before he could start cutting along the dotted line of destiny, he would have to escape the wrath of the tyrannical Moon Bear King. Lucky Kutaro suckered into stealing a set of sorcerer's scissors by the witch and stirring up a tyrant's rage. Now all his hopes of escaping the castle were dashed, just as he himself dashed like mad to outrun the soldier grubs who wanted his head. Poor Kutaro. His only hopes now were Calibrus and a witch of most questionable character. What cruel tricks would fate play on him next? You, you pussy-footy wussy cat, where were you? I ought to fudge and is it not be? Did you forget you sent us off in the first place? Yes, Calibrus chose him. Finally! Those legendary shears will cut right through the Moon Bear King's lackeys and set the Moon Realm free! Now, my brave young warrior, why don't you let Granny hold on to those for you? Right now, you wooden dogs! <laughs> what was that for? Don't you tell me I'm not sure! I'm... Gotcha! You need either a heart as pure as the goddesses, or vicious magic like the Grizz. But all you've got is an attitude. Uh, oh. oh, nuts! Uh, you keep Calabras. You'll take good care of it for me. I smell him. That's the punch and stick of a scissor thief. Oh, General Tiger, sir. How kind of you to drop by to check on measly old me. <laughs> oh, I just don't know anything about <laughs> Mr. Tea, but if I see him, you'll be the first and last to know. And this egregiously foul odor must be witch stick. You are certain he's not here? Oh, yes, very certain, your Tagonets. I beg you, bring that scoundrel to justice, or I may not sleep a week tonight. Ah, don't worry. My grubs will have this whole castle locked down in no time. anyone crashing the prison towers and making off with the knight's powers, now can we? You hear that, dear? Then get your hidey in gear! The tiger's tongue had slipped. Whatever powers this knight had, they were clearly important. didn't come with stairs. Clinging to the slippery stones instead were giant living vines imbued with dark magic. Snipping, cutting, slicing through the vines with Calibrus, Kutaro scrambled up and up. Onward he must climb.
you may have noticed, there was a reason the Moon Witch framed Kutaro for stealing the scissors. The moment she marched him off to the throne room, she had already concocted a plan to take Calibris for herself. Despite himself, Kutaro was growing excited. What kind of awesome power could this knight in the towers have anyway? Even the vile vines could still cut her own scissors. Hmm. We'll have to muse these for stairs. Just cut along the seam. Stop Kutaro. Kutaro sliced his way through flags, vines, anything he could sink those scissors into. his dark powers. The vines were just your ordinary, commonplace, garden variety, invasive weeds. Vines cling to anything they can get their festering feet on, until they cover everything. Sneaking, you say? But aren't we all clinging to something bigger than ourselves? Strangling the life out of it?
Not everyone took it sitting down when the Moon Bear King rose to power. Many tried to oust the tide and bring back the goddess. One or two of them even survived. But the goddess's mightiest champions all fell, and their powers were locked away in secret, well-guarded places. Now, where do you suppose the knight's powers are hiding? Top security was tight. The Weaver patrolled the smoke-ridden sky, swooping and slicing at anything that moved. These towers not only defended the castle walls when the Moon Bear King rebelled against the Goddess, but during the ferocious final fight, they also went on the attack. The tyrant later converted the towering spires to a prison, which with a bounding imagination he dubbed the Prison Towers. <clears throat> the crushed forces of the Moon Goddess were detained at His Majesty's pleasure to starve, rot, and generally suffer. Only their armor remained to tell their terrible tale. Forging on the power in its Lord's Dark Seal, the Weaver stretched to his proportions. Kudaro knew he had to swallow his fear, step forward, and keep his head. Well, well, looks like the horn has become a knight. Why do all your problems seem to come in extra large?
and cut those souls free. Up shield appeared before Kutaro. Could this be the power he sought? Tiger! Quickly, you fool! He's going to find the knight shield! How could he possibly know it was in there? Stop him! If Kutaro makes off with the shield, or oh, the sun princess! Mark my growl. Blow! Rip that bit of moonstone right out of your mouth! Well, when I find that idiot who blabbed about the night in front of... Uh, uh. 